Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to be going over a lab that I do with my grade 12 physics class on the conservation of momentum in two dimensions. To do this, we're going to use this air table here. It's kind of like an air hockey table, but instead of the air coming from the table, it actually goes up through here and in through the bottom of the puck. So it pushes out from the pucks, not up from the table. The reason why we have that is because See, I have this carbon paper on the table. Then what I do is I take another piece of paper, put it on top of the carbon paper, and then this is a spark timer. So when I step on the foot pedal, the spark timer will send electricity through. So there's a sort of metal chain that goes through here and creates a spark. The spark will cause a mark from the carbon paper onto the bottom of this paper. And it does so at a regular frequency. So currently I have it set to 20 milliseconds. So it'll create a dot every 20 milliseconds. And so analyzing the motion is very similar to what we did in our grade 11 lab on uniform motion, where we analyze the ticker tapes. If you don't remember how to analyze ticker tapes, I have a video here to refresh your memory. All right then, so what I'm going to do is, this puck has a mass of 200 grams. This one has a mass of 220 grams. This one I'm just going to start from rest, and I am going to throw this one, give it a bit of a force so it moves towards it, hits it at an angle, and then they'll go off. All right, here we go in three, two, one. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you label which puck was which. So this one here was initially our 220 gram puck. And then it hit off and went in this direction, like so, 220 gram puck. This one, which was initially at rest, moved off in this direction and it was our 200 gram puck. Now to figure out speed, you can count the number of dots and knowing the distance and the time that each dot occurs at, you can find speed. Then you can also add a coordinate system on here to make sure conservation of momentum is being adhered to for both your horizontal and vertical components. You can choose your coordinate system in any direction. Uh, let's just choose our initial coordinate system to be perfectly in this direction. So we'll call this our positive x direction, and therefore a line perpendicular to that would be our positive y direction. And you can figure out the angles here. So let's take some dots. Here's one dot here. Then we have, this will be dot zero. So from that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's go up to dot 16. So we have 16 dots and we'll measure the distance between them to be 17.77 meters. So you can, Knowing that your frequency or your period is 20 milliseconds, you can figure out your speed. Over here, you can see it slows down, so the dots are a lot closer together. So let's pick one here and count from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 
nine. Let's just go right there to 50. And so 50 dots has a distance of 15.6 centimeters. Finally, over here, let's take a dot and count from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go to 40 dots. And we'll measure that distance to be 22.3 centimeters. Okay, and then lastly, I'll help you calculate the angles or measure the angles. So if we were to split this one up into components, it would look like this. And similarly, if we were to split this one up into components, it would look like this. All right, and we can measure this angle be about 20 degrees. And this angle to be about 14 degrees. All right, so I'll put a picture of this in the description if you wish to analyze it. And I will also put the lab report or the handout that I use with my class in the description as well. So analyze conservation of momentum in two dimensions. If you're not how to sh sure how to do that, I also have a tutorial video here of me doing an example problem. Right? And then you can check to see if momentum is conserved.